Hey, this is Eric, and in this video I'm sharing about a free backgammon template that I created for Google Slides and Google Drawings that you and your students can use to play in person or remotely. So I am a big fan of tabletop games, as my bookcase full of games will certainly show. They are a great way for people to connect as well as build critical thinking skills. Although I mostly play newer games, I still love some classics such as Backgammon. Recently, I created a Backgammon template in Google Slides and Drawings that anyone can use to play the game in person or remotely with a partner. Let's take a quick look at how you can get a copy of the template and how to use it. So first, to get a copy of the template, go to my Backgammon page at www.controlaltachieve.com slash backgammon. The link for this is also available in the description for this video. Once you get to the page, you will find links to get a copy of the template in either Google Slides format or in Google Drawings format. Both versions are pretty much the same, so it really just depends on if you have a preference between Slides or Google Drawings. The only big difference is that Google Drawings does not allow you to lock down the background, so you can accidentally move the board when you're playing. If that happens, you can always just drag it back and put it where it's supposed to be. Once you have your own copy of the Backgammon template, if you want to play remotely, you'll now want to share the slideshow or drawing with your opponent so they can play with you. To do that, click on the Share button up in the top right-hand corner as normal. Now type in the email address of the person that you want to play with. And make sure that they have editor rights so that they can make changes to the game with you. When you're all done, Click on the Send button to share the file. Once you and your opponent have the file open, you can begin playing. In both templates, I've included a video from WikiHow that goes over the rules for backgammon in case you need a refresher on how to play the game. As far as the technical aspects of using my template, though, here are a few key points. To roll the dice in the game, you will want to click once on the embedded YouTube video that shows the two dice. This will start the video playing and start the dice rolling. This is a video that I created that runs very quickly through all 36 possible outcomes of the two dice. Each frame of the video is a different outcome, so all 36 possibilities go by in just 1.2 seconds. When you're ready to stop the rolling dice, just click the video a second time, and the video will pause, showing you the results of your roll. You can just keep on clicking on the video and clicking it again any time that you need to roll your dice. As far as moving your game pieces, each player has 25 pieces which are already set up on the board in their starting positions. To move a piece, simply click and drag it to its new location. When you get to the end of the game, you'll start moving pieces off of your board and into the box on the right-hand side. If you're playing remotely, you can communicate with your opponent in several ways. For example, you could connect through a Google Meet, or you could use the built-in chat feature in Slides and Drawings to communicate while playing. And if you have fun with this backgammon template, be sure to check out the other game templates that I have created and shared on my site, including my Battleship or Battle Sheets template, my Checkers template, and my Chess template. All of these links can be found in the video description as well. And that's it. I hope you and your students enjoy the backgammon template and that you roll many doubles. Be sure to check out all of my other technology resources, templates, projects, and more at controlaltachieve.com.